Good morning. Welcome back to the Pastor Study. It is another beautiful morning here in suburban Philadelphia. I trust that you are enjoying God's blessings this day. We had a, a good time in worship on Sunday. We saw folks gathered for worship. We lifted our voices in song. We heard from the Word, and we shared together in food and fellowship. This is a good thing, and for this we give thanks. Brothers and sisters, there were a number of things that came up in prayer I'd like you to consider as you move through this week in prayer. Continue to keep Craig's father-in-law, Steve, in your prayers. As you know, he's having issues with prostate, prostate cancer returning. Uh, keep in your prayers. Tomorrow, Tim has surgery, reconstructive surgery on his tongue as he deals with the after effects of cancer. We ask that uh, his surgeons would be wise and skilled and that this would indeed make improvements for Tim in his speech, that it would bring quick healing and all that is along with that. But is at home, he is still weak and recovering. Continue to keep him in your prayers. John was with us on Sunday. He is feeling some better. He's recovering and gaining some strength. For this, we give thanks. Helen had a rough day. She wasn't with us this week, but we do know that she's feeling better and just ask that you continue to keep her in your prayers. Dave's neighbor, Frank, will be having heart valve surgery this week. Keep him in your prayers as well. As you know, Owen is going through some issues with uh, prostate cancer resurfacing as well and the treatment that goes with that keep him in your prayers also Susan or Miss T as we know her in daycare her mother passed away they had a memorial service for her yesterday keep the family in your prayers as they grieve Jen from daycare her father passed away a week ago Wednesday keep her and her family in your prayers Walter will be having oral surgery this week. Let's uh, pray that it goes well for him and that he recovers quickly. Continue to keep the Chibok girls in your prayers. Some have been released. Some are making their ways, way home. They are dealing with trauma and all sorts of things that goes with being captive and, and forced to be someone's wife. Uh, keep this group in your prayers, but also the persecuted church around the globe. There are many places where the church suffers, and we need to pray for them. Also, um, keep our missionaries, Binyu, Joanne, and Pat in your prayers. They serve in different places around the world. They share in the ministry that we have been entrusted with as well. But they serve different places, and we ask that you would pray for them, that they would be kept safe, and that their ministries would flourish in the places where God has called them to be. On Wednesday, we will join together for an Ash Wednesday service. Typically, we've done this in the evening, but this time, this year, we're going to try this at 1230. So if you are out and about on Wednesday, swing by the church, be here for the 1230 service. It will be a time for reflection and preparation for the coming Easter celebration, just some 46 days away from Wednesday. Keep that in your prayers also. If you can't be with us, it's a good time to pray, and you'll know we'll be in prayer at 1230, so... Join with us in prayer at the same time. Friends, there's a lot going on in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our world, and we need to pray for neighbors. This week, we are lifting up Grace Winmore, Grace Lutheran Church in Winmore as part of our regular time of prayer. So as you move through this week, pray for Grace. Pray for the church that meets there. Pray for their pastor. Pray for the, the body of Christ that they would indeed continue to minister to their neighborhood, their the saints who gather there, that they would have strength to do what is, they've been called to do. Friends, lift someone that you know in prayer this week. Someone that doesn't attend church, someone who is distant from their faith. They may have gone at one time, they may never have. Whatever the case may be, someone you encounter regularly, pray for them. Pray that they will hear God this season of, of Lent and be drawn to Christ. Pray for transformation in their lives. Also pray for continued transformation in your own life. I cannot stress how transformative this can be for us as a people. But it means that you and I need to commit ourselves to prayer. So I lay this before you, brothers and sisters, and ask that you would keep these things in your prayer. 
Have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday or on Sunday or somewhere in between. Blessings and peace. Thank you.